Hello Virgo, welcome to a you and them love reading. We're going to be looking at what's going on in your connection and how do you feel about each other? What are the energies between you? Feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you. And keep in mind that these readings are general, so they will not resonate 100% with every single Virgo watching. So let's see what we have for you, Virgo. Let's look at what's going on in your connection first. This is for those of you that are in a connection or have someone in mind at this time. Spirits, angels, guides, messages, please, for Virgo. What's going on in their connections? at this time for Virgo. What's going on for them? Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. And love yourself first. So I feel like what's coming towards you with divine timing here, <clears throat> it's something worth your time, but also it'll be better for you, I feel. Like maybe this is a connection or a situation that um, doesn't ask you to lower your standards, doesn't ask you to take less than what you deserve. What do we need to know about this connection at this time? Closed off, guarded, defensive, resistant. So I feel like for the Virgos that I'm talking to here, um, divine timing is at work because something is not happening. Yeah, taking action, walking away at the bottom of the deck. So one of you might have walked away from the other in the past. There must be some sort of separation here. One of you is closed off, and that's why uh, divine timing is here. So let's see what else we can get. What else do we need to know for Virgo? Someone's taking action though. It might take a little bit of time, but someone's taking action. Maybe this action is related to them loving themselves first, you know, enough to go after what they really want, enough to go after the person they want to be with or need to be with. But for some reason, there's a defensive energy here, a closed off energy from at least one of you that I think is making things a little bit difficult. All right, Spirit, can we get some energies down between Virgo and their person for Virgo and for the other person? Okay, so I'm just going to cut the deck and then just set all of the energies down so what's going on in your connection at this time we have the two of wands the tower and the queen of coin reverse wow a tower moment is happening here this is probably div a divinely guided tower because we have divine timing um and i feel like this is opening a door see in this card the two of wands is literally a gate opening up leading to a different path um, okay, so let's set down your energies here and your energies for your person. We'll look at these when we um, take some time to go down there <laughs> to both of your energies. Okay, bottom of the deck, the Eight of Cups reversed. So someone could definitely be making a return here, coming back. Maybe the person that walked away is coming back, returning. This could also be a card about someone being delayed from leaving a situation or blocked from leaving a situation as well. So let's see what we get when we clarify. Poor Virgo, can we? Oh, well, entire moment's happening here. So, something unexpected, something shocking, something that brings uh, a situation, a foundation crumbling down. That's what towers do. But towers are, um, I feel you can almost think of them as the uh, spiritual cleansers or um, something that was meant to come down for a reason. There's a purpose to a tower always. It doesn't just happen just because. So let's start here with this tower. What's going on with this tower for Virgo? What do we need to know, Spirit, about this tower? Knight of Cups. Wow, okay, what do we need to know about this tower? A surprise message, a surprise apology, an unexpected message or apology. Wow, Empress Energy, okay. One more for this tower. What do we need to know for this tower? Ten of Wands. So yeah, I feel like there was something that was meant to come down. This Ten of Wands was probably um, something that someone had to let go of. The Chariot is at the bottom of the deck, Cancer Energy. I feel like someone was way down, um, slow down. They weren't able to move quickly with this Chariot or they weren't able to move forward. That's why the Tower is here. This could also be somebody um, 
kind of letting, opening up, um, what's the phrase that I want to use though? It's kind of like they're, um, uh, what's that? It's, it's like when someone is like, expressing their emotions to get rid of like a weight or baggage. So there's a phrase for that that I can't think of right now, but it's almost like that's what's happening here. Someone is like opening up the floodgates here because they can no longer hold back these feelings or emotions or they can no longer keep this apology inside or keep these feelings inside. Um, and they're going to do this with an empress energy. So I feel like this apology is coming towards an empress, uh, which I feel it, it doesn't have to be a female. Um, it could be a feminine energy, but it's almost like this is someone's like prize. Um, they're going towards their empress energy or empress individual, you know, whatever this empress represents. Um, I feel like they're going towards them to unload this baggage or this weight. Um, this could be a surprise visit with the chariot, um, an unexpected message or apology, like I said. Like, I feel like this tower is something unexpected. Can I get one more for this tower? And I feel like it's divinely guided. Yeah, the nine of pentacles. Can I get one more for this tower? Can I get one more for this tower? I'm still getting like the similar, I feel like this is just a baby empress here with the nine of pentacles. Six of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, yeah. And there's the Chariot again. So I definitely feel like this is someone coming forward. And I'm starting to think this might be an apology, Virgo, or someone wanting to give something to this Empress, this Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. Um, someone's very determined, attracted to this Queen of Wands, wants something. There's a goal in mind here with this Knight of, of Cups. Why is the Two of Wands here? What's this Two of Wands about? Wow, the Emperor on the board with the Empress. Wow. Aries energy. So I definitely feel like it's almost like this Emperor is getting on this chariot and walking through this gate. That, that, honestly, that's what I'm picking up. This could be somebody taking charge of their life and, and in doing so, they're making a choice with the Two of Wands. Can I get one more for the Two of Wands? Justice. Are you kidding? And then the Two of Pentacles. Wow. Libra energy with justice, two of pentacles. I feel like this person had to make a choice from, you know, it's almost like they were weighing their options. What's at the bottom of the deck? Yeah, the hangman. They probably took a little bit of time making this decision. But with the hangman and justice, I get someone that's looking at things from a different angle. Somebody that's looking at things from a logical, analytical uh, mindset. Justice is, is not really influenced by emotions. Justice is about what's fair, what's just, um, they take a look at, you know, all of the evidence, all of the angles, all of the perspectives, right? And they're not swayed. They're completely objective. So I think this person, um, I feel like they're so focused on restoring balance and making things right and having things be fair again. Um, I feel like this is someone that's making like a final decision or ultimate, like, a, like the decision they needed to make. Two of Wands, Two of Pentacles, Justice, The Hangman. They've thought about it. They've decided this is the angle they're 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 kind of paying attention to or basing their decision off of. You know, they um, what's behind there? Wow, the Five of Cups. Definitely, this is someone that's thinking about things. Nine of Swords and the Magician. Definitely, this is someone that's really evaluated their mistakes, thought about the mistakes they've made. Maybe they've been thinking a lot about the the regrets that they have especially the five of cups with the nine of swords this is someone that feels very like guilt remorse anxiety over their actions and then the magician so this is someone definitely taking charge of the situation now that they've done a lot all of this thinking and and planning and just observing i feel tell me about justice i'm just curious because i feel like okay the moon yeah so pisces energy so i'm getting that this is somebody that perhaps things were a bit twisted that's the word I got, twisted. There could have been an illusion, something they couldn't see clearly, some sort of secret, mystery. Something wasn't quite right. That's why justice is here. This person might have been misguided, misled, made the wrong choice because they didn't have the clarity they needed to have. So why is the queen of coin reverse? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy here. Why is the queen of coin reverse? The devil, wow, 
Capricorn energy. These are very strong energies. And there's the lovers at the bottom of the deck, Gemini energy. Every time I get the devil with the lovers like this, I think of a karmic partnership. And this keeps coming up. This is like the third reading I do where I get the devil with the lovers. Some sort of unhealthy attachment here. Some sort of situation where... Um, Someone wasn't able to give, wasn't a great partner with the Queen of Coin Reverse. Wasn't very balanced, stable. Can I get one more for the Queen of Coin Reverse? So Virgo, this could be um, you. Yeah, there was definitely a situation here where someone didn't have clarity, didn't know what to do, felt stuck or restricted or was some, in some sort of situation that was unhealthy. And I felt like, I, I feel like it's because they made the wrong choice and somewhere down the line. There's the strength card, Leo energy and the three of swords at the bottom of the deck. So this has not been easy for this queen of coin reverse. This could be you. This could be your person. This could be somebody that you or your person are dealing with. But I have a feeling that this is more of a symbol, this queen of coin reverse. Uh, when the queen of coin is reversed, they're not able to give. They're not stable. They're not they're, They make financial mistakes. Um, they are takers, not givers. Um, they're not really dependable or loyal partners. They can't be. Um, some, they're a bit off of their, they're, they're, they're off of their pedestal, uh, like knocked out of their pedestal that they were in. Um, and I think what's happening is that somebody possibly was a queen of coin at one time, but they made the choice uh, in the past that, that led them to this devil energy. So some sort of unhealthy attachment a negative environment, toxic environment. Um, maybe they were led astray by illusions, fantasies. Um, they didn't see the red flags. And I feel like now it's been a painful situation and they really thinking here with strength and the, the three of swords, how can I be strong again? How can that, how can I get a handle on my emotions, on my pain? Um, this is somebody that's worried about the future. Yeah, the, wow, the ace of cups and then the 10 of swords. Three of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, Ten of Swords. So it's literally somebody that, now that the pain and heartbreak is here, they're worried about the future. Will I ever have love again? Will I ever have an opportunity again now that something is over for me? So a tower is definitely happening in this situation. Either you are affected by a tower, Virgo. Your person is affected by a tower. Or this tower is happening in your connection. And this tower is allowing someone to come forward. Knight of Cups. Whatever this tower represents. It's allowing someone to bring a Knight of Cups. Which I feel is, for a lot of you it's an apology. Someone is like coming forward to say sorry. This Emperor is coming towards their Empress. So let's go down here to your energies. On your side we have the Moon again. With the Six of Pentacles reversed. Okay, Virgo. I feel like, um, by the way, these energies, I have you on one side, your person on the other. Feel free to flip them if they resonate more for you. But I think you were, there's something you're not sure of. <clears throat> you don't have the clarity here. Or there's some sort of secret or mystery that you're not aware of. Um, and this is causing an imbalance. Six of Pentacles reverse. So let's look at your person. Wow, they have the lovers, Gemini energy, and the Hierophant, Taurus energy. Oh, they are like, this is somebody that wants to be with you, wants to commit to you. What in the world? Let's get some um, energies down for both of you. Spirit, tell me more about Virgo and this other person. Tell me more about Virgo. And this other person, what's Virgo's energy in this connection? What energies are they bringing to this connection with this other person? Patiently waiting. Virgo, you're waiting for something. True, true love and bountiful harvest. So you're wondering, I feel like you're probably the one wondering if you're going to have love with your person, a, a loving union, a union that grows, that manifests. Um, you're waiting for this person whether you know them or not. I feel some of you already know this person, but others of you, this might just be somebody that you are imagining, thinking of in your head. Hmm. Okay, tell me about the person that Virgo is, has, or will be dealing with. What are their energies? 
unexpected event. So they have the tower, cold shoulder. What else do we need to know? I think this person's gonna reach out. Yeah, restoring balance, definitely. They're the ones that are coming to you with the Knight of Cups. There's the looking inward card, planning, thinking of their next steps. This person is bringing a tower to you. And I think it's a message. Love letters at the bottom of the deck. Some sort of message confession is coming from this person. Okay, so let's look at the moon here on your side. What do we need to know about the moon here with the six of coin reverse? I think you just don't know something. Death, five of swords, Scorpio energy with death card here. What do we need to know for Virgo? Something has ended here for you. Yeah, and then the sun. With the wheel of fortune at the bottom of the deck, holy crap. Virgo, I think that something happened on your side here. Um, some sort of change or ending has happened in your life. But for some reason, I don't think you understand or, or know why it happened. And it's because it was meant to happen. Wheel of Fortune, Seven of Swords, Four of Pentacles. Yeah, some someone must have mistreated you or did something wrong. Five of Swords. And I think there's a reason for it. Um... Let's see, can I get one more please for this moon energy and the six of coin reverse. Ten of coin, I want this one too. Page of swords, yeah, there's definitely a message coming. King of coin at the bottom of the deck. Ten of pentacles, page of swords. I think that this is what's coming your way, this ten of pentacles. I'm thinking about this bountiful harvest card here. But before you get that, there's a death card here. Can I get one more please for this death card? Something has to end or, or has ended or changed. Tell me about death. Why is death here for Virgo? Why is death here? Oh my God, the lovers. Gemini energy and then the Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, something. Oh my God, this could be like starting over or starting again in love. Ace of Wands and the Fool. With the lovers. This could be a soulmate reunion. You have the lovers, they have the lovers. Tell me more about the death card. Tell me more about the death card. What's going on here with the death card? Oh my God, Ace of Cups. You gotta be kidding me. Virgo, what is happening? <laughs> I think that whatever has ended for you. So, okay, this is how I'm seeing this. Something has ended, possibly a partnership. But it's, you're getting that again. That's kind of what, I'm, it's like if the love ended for you recently, it's coming again. I don't know if it's with the same person or a different person, but you're gonna have love again. And it's gonna start with a message, page of swords. So whatever situation has happened here for you, I feel like you're waiting for love again and it's coming. But it's because this had already ended. I hope that's making sense. Something has already ended for you in terms of a partnership. In the past, in the recent past, whatever. And it's coming again. <laughs> that, that probably doesn't make sense. But that's that's the, the best way I can describe it. And it could be a soulmate connection. The lovers and the ace of cups. So tell me about the lovers and the higher font over here with your person. Tell me about the lovers and the higher font. Four of Pentacles. Tell me about the Hierophant and the Lovers. Page of Pentacles. This person held back, but they're coming in. Nine of Wands. Yep, the Fool. Three of Swords. Ace of Wands. And the Ace of Swords. Yeah. This person is coming in. They're opening up to you in some way. Um, maybe they've gone through something difficult. Maybe they're going through a tower outside of you or they're just kind of like coming in to give you this offer despite the fact that maybe your guard is up. I mean, it could, I could see it. I see it in a lot of ways here. It can be multiple scenarios that can happen with these three energies. I think this person was hurt by something that happened, possibly this devil energy here, possibly this tower or something that happened with you. Um, but they definitely want a new beginning here. The fool, the ace of wands, ace of swords. I mean, look at this energy. 
And the Seven of Pentacles here at the bottom of the deck tell me that they have no idea how this is going to go. They just know that they're coming in. Page of Pentacles. Let's get some um, secret moon oracles here. Can we get some insight into this person's uh, thoughts, energies, please, towards Virgo? What are their thoughts, feelings towards Virgo? What are their thoughts, energies towards Virgo's spirit? I'm struggling. Yeah. Cold shoulder. They have cold shoulder, which tells me that they feel like they're out in the cold. Um, there might not be communication between you and this person. I need more time. Yeah. I still check up on you on the bottom of the deck. So this person needs more time because they're working on something. That's why you, and I feel like you're waiting for them, patiently waiting on your side. So maybe you know what this person's going through, Virgo. Tell me in the comments if you are waiting for this person specifically. You already know that they're going through struggles. You possibly already know that they're in a karmic situation if they are in that type of situation. Because this person, I feel, is stuck in an unhealthy situation. Are you aware of that? Are you waiting for them? I mean, there's definitely an unexpected event happening. A tower is happening and it's either started by this person or happening in your connection, but more on your person's side. <laughs> That's kind of what I'm seeing here. And what's going to happen with this Knight of Cups? W would you receive this Knight of Cups? I feel like it's an apology because this person's focused on restoring balance. Justice. This emperor wants justice with their empress. They want a new beginning with their empress. You know, look at this energy. This is an amazing reading. <laughs> I mean, I really love it. I love all of it. So expect a message from this person, whether it's an apology, whether it's them burying their heart and soul to you, whether it's them telling you they want this new beginning. Um, it's going to be a conversation for sure that starts things off. And I feel like this is a conversation that you've been waiting for. Um, it might happen after this tower or this conversation is the tower. They're linked in some way. Um, thank you so much for watching, Virgo. If you enjoyed the reading, hit that like button, subscribe. It really helps out a lot. And uh, don't forget to leave me a comment if you wanted to answer the question that I asked earlier. Uh, thank you so much for watching once again, and I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.